Whoa, that looks graphic. I wonder what it's about. Hey, I'm Shen, and this is Ado, a Japanese singer I love very much. Debuted with Universal Music Japan in 2020, releasing digital single Usewa, written by Vocaloid producer Sudo. Ever since then, she has continuously to be on the rise, releasing banger songs and covers, and even sang in One Piece film Red and Spy X Family opening song. She has been in the back of my brain like an earworm, and I like it. <laughs> With her first ever world tour, Wish, everyone was hyped and ticket was sold out within seconds. I was fortunate enough to get myself some tickets, and after coming back from the concert, I felt extremely inspired from the experience, so let's use that inspo and draw something for Ado, shall we? Let's start with determining the composition. After coming back from the concert, the image of Ado leaning on the window edge while the curtains is flowing in the wind comes to mind, as that is a known artwork of hers and her overall concept, blue roses, mannequin, and empty frame. So, I decided to go with the idea and start to get a basic sketch going, trying to figure out the perspective, pose, camera angle, overall vibe, and so on. Now that I'm left with this abominable, hideous sketch, let's start sketching the real stuff. I started by sketching out the anatomy of the pose to make sure it looks natural and accurate in perspective by blocking out the body parts in different shapes. After that, I start to apply clothes, face, hair, and so on. During this point, I made sure to think about her clothes and hair affecting the surrounding wind as well as drawing the character in a simpler silhouette with not much detail. It is also during this point that I decided to change her pose from leaning to a sitting position to enhance her character design by having complex poses and perspective. After the sketch is done, I moved on to the colors starting with Otto herself. I first fill in her silhouette in one color and make a new layer to clip the base color to add in other colors. Each color for each layer. Same things were done for the background. Next is shading and color adjustment. This is when I feel that this artwork might be more difficult to handle than I thought. I first block out the shadows of the artwork using the multiply layer and proceeded to add dark blue using add layer mode for lighting. I then changed the sketch color to a combination of cyan and red and start to add reflective light. But no matter what I do, the color just doesn't feel right. Well, this is mainly because it's difficult to find ways to incorporate Otto's unsaturated color scheme with my colorful style. But I wasn't gonna give up just yet. Otto's iconic blue roses was meant chasing the impossible, as it's impossible to cultivate the color blue unlike red roses. But during 2002, when blue roses was artificially created, this miracle changed the flower's meaning to dreams come true. This shows the concept of Otto during the impossible of how complex a person's voice can be and never give up on your dreams. And I wasn't going to give up on this artwork either. With this, I wanted to make the color of the background to be blue and red to contrast the rose meaning. So, with more fixing and color adjustment using different layers mode and color adjustment tools such as curve tool and color balance, I ended up with something more purplish. Though, this isn't the color I had in mind. I proceeded to the rendering stage, planning to challenge the color again later. I used my custom rendered brushes, which is now available at my Patreon. I cleaned up the messy sketch and add further detail to her eyes, adding eye bags, eyelashes, and so on. I kept her pupils simple, as I want to stay true to her character design. Next, I moved on to the hair. Starting by defining the hair's geometric shape, I took advantage of Otto's inner dyed color to easily differentiate the hair and suit's value by making her hair highlight glow. At the same time, adding color gradient to the hair to show more depth and dynamic to the shading. Next is clothing. Thanks to Otto's simple character design, the process went by fairly quickly. I decided to render clothes more on the simpler side, only cleaning out the messy shading and sketch line, while adding folds line to the fabric as I want people to focus more on her face and hair. Now with the character done, I decided to take the color another shot. After looking at the artwork for a long period of time, I came to the conclusion that the artwork is too saturated. So, I toned down the colors. It's funny how with just that adjustment, the artwork looks much better already. Now that color is somewhat settled, I moved on to the surrounding. More specifically, prop time. I first focused on the foreground table, starting with a pot of red roses. Looking at many references on Pinterest, I rendered the roses with minimal detail and no line art, only rendering it by blocking out the shadows and petals with different shades of colors. Same with the microphone as well. Since Otto is a singer, I thought this is only appropriate. Again, blocking out the shadows, no line art, I made sure to add details and shade the microphone's tip to show the stripey metal material. 
and finish it off with color adjustment from black to dark green to better blend in with the rest of the artwork. I then refined the table and moved on to plushies. Wait, Shin, what do you mean plushies? Well, during the Otto's concert, I feel that it could not have been as good as it is without its amazing band members. That being Naoki Kobayashi, the bass player, Koke Takafumi, the guitarist, Sara Wakui, the keyboard player, and Morita Ryonosuke, the drummer. Just thought they did an amazing job at the concert and deserve recognition. With plushies done, I added an empty frame as that is the object shown on the official Otto's art. I never really know why this was in the artwork, but my theory is maybe it's to indicate Otto choosing her own path in life, where she's not constrained and can forge her own path and fill in the frame her own way. Of course, that's just a theory. And our theory. Now that the foreground prop is done, I moved on to the background props instead, rendering the curtains and mannequin. Deciding on making the curtain two layers, one half transparent and one red, I start out by determining the flow of the curtains, adding reflecting colors with the understanding of light absorption, bounce light based off its surrounding, and refine the colors more and more as time goes. Feeling the curtains could use more detail and texture, I added highlights to the transparent curtains as well as adding stripe highlight. With curtains done, I moved on to the blue roses. Having studied the rose's anatomy while drawing the red roses, it was easier to draw this time around. I rendered the roses in simple shapes, blocking out this swirling effect to indicate its shadow and petal using the lasso tool. You can see that these blue roses is a lot less detailed compared to the red roses. That is because I want to portray the distance of each flower. The further away the object is, the less detail. Last thing to render and that is… the sky. First, I made the sky a bit darker on the upper part, not only to have more contrast but also have a higher value to the artwork. I then changed the full moon to a crescent moon to avoid it stealing the focus point that is Otto. Now that the rendering is finally done, let's talk final touches. I first added some textures with the default brushes that Procreate provides, as well as adding my signature triangle to have the illusion of having more detail to the artwork. Feeling that the colors still look off, I further desaturated the colors of the artwork, and more specifically, toned up the shadows to a brighter desaturated color using the curve tool. I also added some pink gradient for the sky and reflective blue light from the floor using the screen layer mode. And to truly make this related to the Witch World Tour, And from that, I added more little sparkles, color adjustment, and asked my friend how to write congrats on finishing a first world tour in Japanese, and we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Though the coloring didn't go as planned at first, I'm happy how it turned out in the end. You can find this artwork on Instagram, X, Twitter, TikTok, thread, Link is all in the description. Comment down below if you learned anything from this artwork. And have you gone to Otto's World Tour? If so, come share your experience in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!